With Resident Evil Village just around the corner, the hype train is absolutely hurtling towards the station and we are ready to experience all the horror that Capcom have prepared for us. However, when that experience is over, there's a dessert to go with that meal. Like Resident Evil 3 before it, Village is bundled with a three online multiplayer game, RE-verse. We here at First Aid Spray were pretty open-minded about Resistance and our community really used it as a way to bond, so we do kind of have a bit of a soft spot for it. In fact, several members of our community actually themselves got together to write the script for this very video. With all that out of the way, I'm Steve for First Aid Spray and this is 5 things we'd like to see in our reverse. Or is that reverse? Reverse? Anyway, roll the VT! <laughs> Woo! Versus mode. The thing that drew us the most to Resident Evil Resistance was the cooperative nature of four survivors versus one mastermind. It allowed groups to gather together with one goal in mind survive. And do your dailies, naturally. Okay, that's two goals. The game solidified many friendships within the first aid spray Discord as we tried valiantly against legions of sweaty level 400 Nikolai players. Whilst the traditional deathmatch gameplay style does have a good audience, there's absolutely no reason to stop there. We would love to be able to team up with our friends again in competitive play. The game right now is a six person free for all and it wouldn't hurt our reverse greatly if there wasn't a three versus three or maybe even doubles option available. Not only is this a must for a competitive shooter, but think about the great and hilarious combinations of RE characters and BOWs this might allow us to have. Really? You'd kill your own partner, Chris? Gotcha now, bitch! Additional game modes. One issue with Resident Evil Resistance is the overtime sheer repetitive nature of the game. Round one, collect the puzzle items. Round two, unlock computers. And round three, break bio cores. It did get a little stale after a while, but it has to be remembered that there was only ever one true mode to resistance. The ability to shake things up as you play, and importantly bring your private party with you, would be great for our reverse. From stone cold classic modes like capture the flag to something original that utilizes what makes our reverse unique. How about a mode where four players square off asymmetrically against two BOW characters? If AI can also be decently implemented, a horde mode would help break up the monotony of just going directly to head to head to head to head over and over and over again. As they say, variety is the spice of life. Continued support. Neobards had something good during Resistance tragically short lifespan. As the game went on, not only did they have months of free add-ons, they tried their best at keeping it as balanced as possible. The problem was time. With each update, they would always leave one side more overpowered than the other. This happens a lot with asymmetrical games and it takes a lot to find that happy medium. At this point, sadly, Resistance does seem to favor the Mastermind more often than not, and since development has ceased, it seems that it will be forever stuck in this limbo forevermore. With our reverse balancing, it's going to be a different board game altogether. We hope to see a proper tinkering to keep the characters fair and level, so that this new title can have a longer life and success rate than its predecessor. If it's done right, any newcomers to the game later on and avoid hopefully being absolutely destroyed by someone who has made a game-breaking build. I'm looking at you, YouTube mastermind build creators. Just kidding, we love you. But also, please, please stop arming the masses with your evil dastardly schemes. Joke Cosmetics Imagine if you will, dear viewer. You collect virus samples before you are tragically taken out. Your hard work before you die, however, has paid off, and you come back to life as everyone's favorite angry dad Jack Baker. You come back into the match and bash someone over the head with an oversized novelty hot dog. Silly cosmetics such as this can add quite a bit of humour and fun in some much needed areas. Sure, you might be upset you just lost, but you can't help but smile as you watch yourself being killed by Nemesis dressed up like Mr. Raccoon. After all, RE may have started out as a horror game. But it's not like we haven't seen our fair share of goofy costumes and such in the past. Resistance's bevy of references and fun skins make it a wonderful game to look at and customizing your character's appearance and armory helped make the experience unique to each player. You know, come to think of it, if Neobards are looking to add more characters to the roster, 
There's plenty of characters that already exist in the RE engine for them to use. Hint, hint. I mean, what am I saying? Capcom would never let characters disappear after just one game. Right? Right? A standalone release. Resident Evil Resistance may not have been fun for everyone, but members of our Discord server could gush over the great memories of the game they had for hours. I mean, heck, the sheer number of times it's mentioned in this video probably attests to that. The issue is, after one year and the end of developer updates, there's just not many players in the game anymore. This may be bold, but maybe a year or so after Village is released, when the sales have died down, it might be worth just putting REverse out there as a free-to-play standalone title. Not only would it likely bring in a new wave of fresh players, you might get some people who were hesitant to jump into the series, thinking, this free game and its rosters of characters and enemies looks fun, maybe I should give it a try and then try out these other Resident Evil games. One final push of sales before we inevitably get Resident Evil 4 Remake or a Resident Evil game with a 9 hidden in it somewhere or whatever else Capcom have up their sleeves. You know, like Capcom vs SNK3, maybe. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Please, Capcom, I'm begging you. Please. And there you have it. Five things we'd like to see in our reverse. Did your ideas match ours? By all means, put them on a postcard and send it to this P.O. box. Wait, no, I'm being told we have a comment section below. Sign off there. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Steve, and we are kind of serious about Mr. Raccoon Nemesis. Please make it happen, Neobards. As for everybody else, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.